In this tutorial we're going to create something similar to this. Um, we're going to recolor your eye, so you should have already taken a photo. This photo has been taken with a shallow depth of field, which is a wide aperture, which is a really small number. So this one was taken at 1.8, you're probably taking yours at 3.5 or 3.8, that's all fine. So um, if you haven't used Photoshop before, that's fine. We're just going to very briefly now go over some of the settings. So this here is the tool menu. So this is where you select all your different tools. As you select a tool, you'll see at the top here, this option bar changes. So if I click here, we get different options. If we click here, we get different options. So each tool has its own options. Now, if you hold down a tool with the left mouse button, you get to choose some other tools that are related. Okay. So um, we're going to uh, so extra extra functions happen over here. The main ones you need to be aware of happen in this layers tab here. So you can see we've got some different layers, uh, and that's really important. But we're going to start from scratch. So first off, we need to open up our photo. Now you might be using this on a Mac uh, or a PC. So I'm using it on a on a on a PC. You have, although it might look slightly different, all the tools are pretty much in the same place and they are all do the same thing. Okay, so I, I've opened this um, this photo now. This photo is not the same uh, shape and size as I had the last one, so I want to resize that. So I'm going to hold down the left mouse button and select rectangular marquee tool, and I'm just going to kind of drag around and I'm going to get something like that, and I'm going to go image and crop and now I've got the the, um, the photo I want to actually change so if you can't find this uh, tool menu if you go to window you should find the tool so if you accidentally close this or lose this for any reason you just go to window and tools so we need to adjust this uh, just the eye so if you've got uh, a light colored eye the effect will be slightly different and you'll make some different settings to how I'll do it. Mine's dark brown so uh, the settings I use will be slightly different to yours but that's fine because you're gonna you're gonna play around with it. We're gonna try a few different things. You can try different things uh, yourself as well. So uh, we're gonna select the polygonal lasso tool so you might actually be on the lasso tool like this so if you hold it down and select polygonal lasso tool and we're gonna zoom in uh, a little bit more. So I've been using a shortcut to zoom in and out. On the PC it's control plus and minus so minus zooms out plus zooms in. On the Mac it is option plus to zoom in and option minus to zoom out. So um, before I start um, drawing around the eye I'm going to duplicate this layer. So this is the background layer at the moment. So you can do it one of two ways. You can go up to here and then go to um, oh, select that go up to here and duplicate layer or you can select the layer and do option J and that just duplicates the layer there you see we have layer 1 there now it's important what layer is selected because that affects anything you do so if I draw on this layer it's affecting this layer or if I add different things to this layer it affects this layer so you have to select the layer you want to work on and then do do what you need to do so in this one we're going to cut round so I've selected the poly polygonal lasso tool check the options up here we want it um, set to this one new selection we want the feather to be zero and anti-alias to be ticked so if we just cut round here try and be fairly accurate we will be tidying this up afterwards so it doesn't have to be absolutely precise and then double click to finish it okay so up here you can see the refine edge now is available if we click on that we get some options I'm going to smooth that out because I didn't do a particularly good job at that and I'm going to just gently feather it and so you can shift the edge further out or further in and we can change this afterwards as well so it's, it doesn't have to be perfect right now click OK 
So all we've done is just select something. We haven't actually done anything else yet. We've just selected it. What we now need to do is create a mask. Now this little button here is add layer mask. So if we just click that, what you'll see is here, it appears nothing's changed, but what's happened is it's masked everything out. So anything in black is now invisible and anything white is viewable. So if we just hide the background layer by clicking on the eye, you can see that this mask is showing everything here but nothing outside it. Okay, So that we're going to be working on this eye here. Now, um, if you hold down the control key, or the option key, sorry, on the, p on the Mac, and click on the mask, you have to click on the mask, because these are two separate bits. This is the image, and this is the mask. So I've just clicked, holding down the option key, or control key on the PC, clicked on the mask, and it's made a selection. So it's selected the mask. Now we're going to do some uh, changes to the image. Now we have to click on the image, because we're going to be changing the image, not the mask. So click on the image, We've still got the this selected, and we can go up to filter, and we're going to go to noise, and we're going to add noise. So you want to select Gaussian and monochromatic, and I think we'll add something like twenty. We'll add twenty percent. Okay, click OK. Now we're going to go to filter and uh, blur and we're going to choose radial blur and what you might find is it's set to spin um, what you need is zoom and we'll do best quality and we'll do 90 okay So if we just go up to, so this is still selected, we can unselect this now. Go select and deselect, or Control D, or Option D for you, for, for the people on the Mac. So we've got kind of part of the uh, design here. Well, now we need to make the color change. To do that, so we've got this layer selected, we're going to add an adjustment layer. So we click on this adjustment layer and we go to Hue Saturation. So if we add more saturation, you'll see the whole picture changes. Now we only want to change this bit in the middle. The, um, this basically, we only want to change this layer. But right now, it's affecting all the layers below it. So adjustment layers, by default, adjust everything beneath it. It affects everything beneath it. Now you will find a switch somewhere on your adjustments here. Um, that will clip it just to this this layer. So if you click that, you'll see that it's only now affecting. So it's added this little arrow here, and it's only affecting this one layer here. So if we change this, you'll see those things change. Now if we can, if we change the hue, you'll see the the colors change as well. For now, we'll leave the hue at zero. You can change this afterwards, depending on your eye color and what effect you want. You can change this afterwards. Okay. Okay, we're going to add another, so we click on this layer again, we're going to add another adjustment layer. I think I will add exposure this time. Again, this will depend on your um, uh, the color of your eye and, and how much it affects it. So, okay, so I've just, I'm just changing the exposure there. Um, you'll see it's got this little arrow by default, it's already got that. If it doesn't, make sure you click uh, the, the little link. So, um, I've just done unenabled that so click that as well okay now around the edge here it's kind of sharp and I want it a little bit more um, feathered so to do that if I right click on the mask I can um, there's something just slightly out of view uh, of your um, screen that says refine mask so if you click on refine mask so you right click on the mask click on refine mask and you should be able to Feather, feather that out slightly. Change the contrast a little bit, see if that helps. I'm going to change that again, so refine mask again. And one more time, and I'm going to shift the edge outwards slightly so it gets a bit more. Okay, that'll do. So, um, 
other things you can change so this layer here um, we can add some uh, a different kind of layer blend so you can just select something further down um, I'm going to choose hard light you can you can try different ones see what see what works best for you and now if I zoom out a little bit see what's going on now to accentuate the fact that the eyes changed I'm going to actually change the background layer and I'm going to add an adjustment layer to this and I'm going to add um, vibrance and I'm going to pull some of the vibrance out and some of the saturation out and that just kind of that just kind of accentuates the fact that the eye is that much more colourful. And so you can you can go back into these. So if you double click on this, so we've got the hue saturation. If we double click on this bit here, we can go into here and we can change the hue, maybe change the colour if you want it changed slightly. And yeah, basically just kind of change uh, change things around, see what what looks best for you, and um, that's it. Job done.